Welcome to the Legion of Heroes. Saints supposed to be a boy. Back and back. I was bewildered. I was impatient. Yeah, me too. I felt overwhelming disappointment with myself and anger at my own weaknesses. Thanks for worrying about me. And thanks for reminding me to look up, not down. On my first day with Class 7, I was sitting in a room full of strangers. Now I know I'm standing among friends. But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Well, you sound like a good guy to have around when the going gets tough. But getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. But I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. I can't believe it! My very first class trip! We're gonna have the best time! You deserve the chance to earn that legacy you were talking about. To leave a light for those who'll come after. So brilliant was my time at the Academy that those feelings consumed my every thought, my every waking moment. The time I spent with my classmates was something that, in so many ways, changed me. From the 
strict yet kind instructors who diligently taught us to the people we met as we traveled across the country. The time spent with them, my memories of them, were like a truly radiant light. And somewhere, a part of me thought that radiance would continue shining for ages to come. But all it took was a single bullet to bring everything crashing down. Go finish your speech in hell. That bullet sparked a fire which grew and grew before our eyes, evolving into a great flame that smothered our light in an instant. <sighs> well played, Armbrust. There were no exceptions, be it those seemingly never-ending days or anything else I'd come to treasure. Resound, resound, O oh voice everlasting! Rend night's silent veil and reveal unto all the beautiful world! Everything was reduced to ash. But at the end of the day, I'm C. That's the real deal. The crow armbreast you've known all this time. He isn't real. He never was. Back then, I still didn't understand. I didn't know the pure bliss that comes from being with others, nor did I know the ache that comes from parting with them. I didn't understand what it meant to truly love someone. All I could do was endure the torment of my own sense of powerlessness and bottle up the feelings I could do nothing about. All while trying desperately to fight against that ever-burning flame. But this is no dream. This is reality. Cold, cruel reality. And you're going to need to hurry up and accept that because you haven't got time to waste. His core's been damaged, which means he's not going anywhere anytime soon. So you're going to need to protect yourself, Ashen Awakener. Awakener? What are you talking about? Wait. What's going on here anyway? What is that thing? Wait, never mind that. What are you? Ugh, knock it off. How am I supposed to answer anything when you keep bombarding me with question after question? 
You're a chosen one. Chosen by a fragment of the ancient great power. Great power? I mean, great responsibility. That's right. Those fragments were the origin of the great knights that appear in Erebonian legends. At times, they protected people from harm and disaster, while at others, they were the cause of harm and disaster themselves. And the being in front of you is one of them, a divine knight known as the Ashen Knight. The Ashen Knight? Valmar? Wait, I remember when I called him. You got it. You've known that name for a while by now. But he's not the only Divine Knight that's active. The Noble Faction has one under their control, too. That one is known as the Azure Knight, or Dean. Remember? That's the one you fought and lost against. That's the one you lost. Why? Why did it come to this? Why did everyone... Oh. <sighs> he had me fooled, too. How could I have known that irresponsible playboy was the Azure Knight's Awakener? He's obviously had plenty of experience piloting it, too. He must be... Hey, get up! You can hear me, right? Take me back to Trista! Take me back to my classmates! You're wasting your time. His core was heavily damaged in the battle with the Azure Knight. Didn't I just tell you that? And despite that, he strained himself flying all the way out here afterwards. Even when he was barely hanging on, he prioritized your recovery over his own. You exhaust... Damn it! Hmm. This must be somewhere in the Isengard range, on the northern side of the Nortia province. Huh. I'm surprised you were able to work that out just from a glance. I guess that's what happens when you're raised in the mountain. Hey, where are you going? Somewhere. somewhere I can sense monsters nearby too I'm gonna need to be careful
enemy sighted. Let's take them out! Let's move! Move. Let's move. Ha! Let's move. Sit. Okay, it's safe for now. What's going on over at the academy now? Hey, slow down a minute. Well, only one way to find out. If I keep going this way, I should be able to get out of the canyon. Excuse me. be thinking of leaving him there out in the open, are you? <sighs> hey, say something. Are you mad at me or something? Why would I be? You only completely disregarded and overruled my decision. was I supposed to do? If we hadn't flown away when we did, you'd be dead by now. We probably would have lost Valimar, too. If anything, you should be thanking me. Forget it. Right now, I want to focus on finding the others. If I keep going this way, I should end up on the highway at some point. Sorry, but that's a huge waste of time. It's been over a month since all of that stuff happened back in Trista. A month? You can't be serious! There's no way it's been that long! <sighs> oh sure, don't believe me. Like I said, you completely exhausted yourself during your first synchronization with the Ashen Knight. And I do mean completely. There was a real chance you could have died. It's a miracle you're able to walk around like this a mere month later, and it's all thanks to him. He used what little mana he had left to heal you rather than himself. And just so you know, I've been here this whole time watching over you. So I really don't think I deserve all of this animosity I'm getting from you. I... this can't be. It's been a whole month since what happened near Trista. But then, what happened to the others?
sighted. Let's take them out. Let's move. Marcus, activate. Yeah! My turn. That's that. Let's keep moving. Try calming down a little, you know. <sighs> you could Enemy sighted. Let's take him out. Here we go! Here I go. Okay, it's safe for now. Way. Let's move. Ha! My turn. Ha! My turn. Ha! I need to make up for lost time.
I'd asked this before and didn't get an answer. Probably because I was bombarding you with question after question, but better late than never, I guess. Just what are you, anyway? Why do you know so much about everything? And don't even think of saying you're just an ordinary cat. Because last time I tried talking to a cat, it did not talk back. Oopsie! <laughs> totally forgot about that, didn't I? I'm what you'd call a familiar. I faithfully serve the witches of the Hexen clan and aid them in fulfilling their duties. Witches? As in the witches in Erebonian legend? First the Great Night legend turns out to be based on a true story, now this? I feel like I've stepped into a fairy tale. Well, you know what they say, truth is stranger than fiction. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. I'm not going to try and convince you. Oh, I've got no real reason to doubt you at this point. So, do you serve Emma then? Rather, does that mean she's a witch? She's still a novice, but she is a witch, yes. Ah. My job's more to keep an eye on her though. You did always get the sense that there was more to Emma than meets the eye. Yes, but her being a witch? It's surprising. But then again, the more I think about it, the more it makes perfect sense. <laughs> hmm? What's with the goofy grin? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, let's get going. Get out of my way! My turn! Burn to ash! Fall! My turn! Ha! Burn! My turn! Let's move! Ha! Here I go! Sit! I need to hurry and find the others! I hope everyone at the Academy is safe and sound. Mention Elise, Princess Alphen, and Prince Oliver, too. <sighs> I need to take a deep. Get out of my way! Here I go! Burn to ash! Fall! Too slow! Here I go! Burn to ash! Fall! I need to make up for lost time. Sit! Enemies in sight. Ready to go? Let's move. There! Move. 
here! Here I go. Sit. Let's move. Sit. I need to hurry and find the others. <sighs> this is stressful. I've been here before. Master Ka Fai brought me here as part of my training. That's the name of your former instructor, right? Yeah. He was the founder of the Eight Leaves One Blade School of Swordsmanship that I follow. His full name's Master Yun Ka Fai, though most just know him as the Sword Hermit. Man, when was the last time I came here? Must have been fact, if I remember right. My hometown of Ymir is only a few hours away. Oh, really? Well, that's convenient. Wanna head there? We might be able to get there by sundown. If we hurry, yeah. As soon as we get to Ymir, I want to try and gather information on what's been going on. What was that? Oh my god. It feels like it's coming closer! A divine night! It couldn't be! Magic Knight! You know what that thing is? They're magic golems made during the Dark Ages, and they're incredibly strong! Damn it, what's one doing here? Ugh, we need to get out of here, now! You don't stand a chance against it on your own! Maybe not. But that's not going to stop me from trying. You idiot! You're still recovering! You don't stand a chance! We'll see about that. All I know is that it's standing between me and everyone I care about. So if getting to them means taking this thing on, so be it! Unbelievable! Bring it on! Let's move! Turn. Sit. 
my turn. Ha! Let's move. Do it. Gather on my blade. Barely putting a dent into it. Ugh. We're so close to you here, too. I told you this would happen. Get back! <laughs> oh my God. Celine! Not here. Not without seeing everyone again. Elise! Not today, buddy! Not today, buddy. So on. Yeah, but where? See you later. Cross Crusade! So glad. A second to spare. Good to see you're still in one piece. I'm so glad we hurried. I don't want to even imagine what could have happened if we weren't in time. You aren't hurt, are you? Your Highness and Tovo and Rain, stay right there. Please tell me you're all right. You look so exhausted. Who's she? Elise? It's really you. I feel like I'm dreaming. I never would have expected you to come all the way out here. Rain, please! There's no need to speak right now. Save your strength. We'll take you back to Ymir just as soon as we've seen to your injuries. I'm just so glad you're all right. How did you know I was? Hey. As my consciousness began to fade, I heard a distinct voice resound at the back of my mind. A voice with all the gravity of steel, and yet a strange sense of familiarity, hey, why do I... of warmth. And as I listened, I could feel myself being beckoned towards the Wheel of Fortune. Hey, why do I? Dost thou desire the power? Yeah.
My love! The row. Vida. Empire Rain Nema. Ben, my Ben. This is a rabbit. Like our Vita in the world. Now we are My mom, the rain. Just a second ago. How about you? Feeling better after a catnap? Hmm, I guess. I slept more than I meant to, actually. You're awake. Elise! Um, good morning. Actually, it's probably closer to noon now, isn't it? You don't know how scared I was. There was all the chaos in the capital, and then we lost all contact with you. We I'm just so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for worrying you so much, Lee. <laughs> no. No, you don't need to apologize. I knew that somewhere out there you were alright, and that you'd come back safe. Welcome home, Reen. It's good to be back. Thanks. <laughs> I see our two little lovebirds are as twitter pated as ever. P pardon? Good morning, Reen. And to you as well, Elise. Hey there. Just swinging by to see how you're holding up. You're here too, Your Highness? I'm really not dreaming then. You're so silly, Reen. I would have thought the warmth of your dear sister pressed against your chest was proof enough of that. Y your Highness, please! <laughs> well, I'm just glad you're up. How are you feeling? Still sore? You've been fast asleep since we brought you back here yesterday. I don't have any serious injuries, at least. But I doubt I'd be able to say that if you hadn't come when you did. Thanks, Toval. I suppose I owe you my thanks, yeah, too. Boy. That art of yours didn't come a moment too soon. <laughs> You're both very welcome. I just didn't want to give these two young ladies anything to cry about. Aww. I see you're finally up. Hello, Dad. Dad! Mom! Mom. Hello, Reen. It's wonderful to see you back home. I imagine you have plenty of questions running through your mind, but first and foremost is getting you something to eat. We can discuss what to do from here on out, after.
Amen. So, see you guys on the next 